Hey, this is Rachel from the Life Facilitator and I am sharing a process video today using the Everyday Explorers Positivity Passport, which uh, releases today. So I'm showing you a little bit about what's in the kit um, and, and then I will jump right in. One thing I will do right from the start is actually make this insert smaller and I will show you how I do that right now. So I am going to pull out the insert. I have it in a little pocket Webster's pages pocket planner cover and I am going to pull a, um, a, a nail file or like a, this is what I have found works best is a cuticle, uh, pusher is like the best way to, uh, to pull up staples. I'm going to pull about half of the insert out and you might be wondering, Rachel, why are you pulling half the insert out? Um, and I will tell you it's because I want to be able to finish this insert. And if I have too many pages in the insert, I will lose momentum and I will not finish it. And something I am learning about myself uh, recently is that um, I like when it comes to a, like a little project like this, a mini book project, I like to be working on it for a very short period of time. I want to work on it for like a week, maybe two. I don't want it to be something that I'm, that's sort of like out there unfinished. And so by making the insert smaller, I am able to, I, I have much, I, I increase my likelihood of finishing the insert. And if I want to start another one, I can with the extra pages. So. The other thing I decided to do with this positivity passport, which was sort of my like gateway into everyday explorers years ago, um, was the original positivity passport. And so I was very excited to have another version of it. And, um, and I was hemming and hawing about like, ah, how am I going to, what am I going to fill this insert with? And I decided to go, um, to my stash of misfit photos. Yep. I have a little tray full of photos that just didn't make it anywhere else. And now they have a home in my positivity passport. Um, the, the best part is that a lot of these were Polaroids that just, you know, as like this one is like kind of dark. Um, it's of sushi. It's like really hard to tell what it is. It's sushi. It's a lot of sushi. It's in fact like a boat of sushi. Um, but for this sort of documenting, I don't need the photo to be that great because what I'm really trying to do is like capture a feeling and the feeling of this moment is that, um, we were celebrating my husband's birthday and I, you know, wanted to have something in the positive positivity passport to document that this photo is at, this whole moment is from 2023. And that was the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to, to not limit myself to a certain time period for what I add to this positivity passport. And so I'm all, I, not in order when it comes to the, the spreads in here. And you know what? It took, it took me a minute to be like, that is okay. You have permission to <laughs> add things to this notebook in whatever order you want, but it's true. You really do. You really can, or you do not have to have things in chronological order. Um, so I am trying to stick with the colors from the collection for the, for this spread, because the colors in the photo aren't really helping me. I mean, they're like, there's just not much to pull from. And so I can go a bit on, tr on theme, um, with this spread and that's what I'm doing. So one of the ways I'm pulling color in is by adding highlighted journaling, as you see here. And then I stamped everything with black ink so that I could go in and color in the stamps with colors that are found in the collection, um, 
the, the collection colors. Um, and I, I recently I've been doing this a lot more. I've been actually sticking more with black and white ink or black ink and then just adding color with mild liners or with brush markers. And I really enjoy it. It's kind of a fun, it's like, you know, harkens back to my like kid days of color booking. And I don't know, it just has its, it, it makes it its own unique thing. And so um, I decided that uh, toward the end that I was going to make this a two page spread. Um, I also decide to, for the I feel um, ad that I was full because I was full this day. I was so full, in fact, that I had to leave early. I mean, before everybody else at the end of the night because my stomach hurts so much because I had eaten too much sushi. Anyway, so um, I'm going to add a, a, a trimmed label to the middle of these two photos. I did want to make this a two page spread because I actually wanted to add some photos of the night and I love how it turned out. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out um, Everyday Explorers to see um, and grab your own positivity passport uh, for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.